And this course could be extended on to any dimension. I'll just write one like here so you can kind of see more or less explicitly. Um, okay. So the equation psi prime equals P of T psi. Size a matrix consisting of column vectors y1 and y2. Okay, we know that this matrix is invertible because its ground skin is non zero, it's determined as non zero. Okay, so size so invertible since your y1. Y2 set is linearly dependent. Okay? It's so in other words determined it is not zero, which automatically makes psi invertible. So P of T equals psi prime psi inverse. No, just multiply both sides of this on the right by psi inverse. Okay? And since these functions are presumably continuous and differentiable on the domain, whatever the domain of the particular solution is, or the uh, general solution is, uh, that's pretty much it. So if you're given a problem where you've got the fundamental set and want to find a differential equation, which is equivalent to finding your P of T matrix, or in this case, to be a system of differential equations, okay? Then that's all you got to do. But you need to understand that. You need to be able to reason that out, or you'll never remember it. Okay? So um, this works. For any dimension, there's nothing in. The argument from here, well, the fact that this follows from this doesn't depend on psi being 2 by 2, bn by n. And of course, any fundamental set, or a system of n equations, is going to have n vectors. So you're always going to get a square matrix. It's always going to be invertible. Okay? If you're given the fundamental set, your psi matrix will be square and invertible. And you can do this. Okay? Yeah.